I, uh, I brought you a tea. It's blasphemy to drink tea from a paper cup. Oh, uh... Is everything okay, missus? Would you... Well, I'm gonna drive you home? All the way to England, yes, please. You, uh, you got family back there, missus? You are an impertinent man, you know. You ask an awful lot of questions that have absolutely no relevance to your being able to carry out your duties. <laughs> I know, yeah, I do do that, yes. And you have no barometer. Let's just say I haven't family who would notice whether I were halfway across the world or sitting in my living room. The scene begins with Mrs. Travers sitting on the floor as her driver, Ralph, approaches her with a cup of tea. Ralph bringing Mrs. Travers tea symbolizes that he not only cares, but is worried about the woman's well-being. And although Mrs. Travers is hesitant and refuses at first, her taking of the cup symbolizes that she not only does trust Ralph, but is comfortable within his presence. Another thing that should be noted as a symbol is Ralph's eventual kneeling as their conversation continues. And although Mrs. Travers is defensive and aggressive throughout the scene, like a child, Ralph believe, behaves like a more mature adult until Mrs. Travers begins stating facts about Ralph's actions, bringing him down to her perspective. Make a furrow. Yeah. That's a good stick for digging. Somewhere like this. Fine. I got a kid. Mm, most people do. Jane. As Mrs. Travers asks Ralph to help her, he sits on the ground at the same level and takes part in what she is doing. This symbolizes just how comfortable Ms. Tra Mrs. Travers is with Ralph, as it is her way of opening up to him. Another symbol is when Mrs. Travers no notes that a stick is a good stick for digging, representing the world of imagination, imagination and creativity she lives in as an author. Again, when Ralph mentions that his daughter is handicapped, both Mrs. Travers and Ralph pause in their work, symbolizing an understanding between two people who have faced difficulties when it comes to people that they love. Another important part of Ralph's story about his daughter is when he's explaining why he's so concerned about the weather. His concern for the weather symbolizes the things that must be overcome and sacrifices that are made to the things in life that are important to us. Don't worry about the future. But you can't do that. Only today. Hmm. to take her there. Wouldn't that be nice? 
Ralph's speech at the beginning symbolizes how he feels about the future and how he's passing along this important advice to a dear friend. The bandstand symbolizes a sacred place to, mo to both Mrs. Travers and Ralph. It is something that connects Mrs. Travers to her father, and she hopes maybe he will, she will meet him here once again. For Ralph, it is a place of joy where there is no pain or disability, and he can take his daughter there. This idea of hope is much like how many people imagine heaven to be. Mrs. Travers correcting Ralph near the end that the tea is a lake, not a river, symbolizes that this creation is a moment from her past that comforts her in her times of worry.